Hello guys, good morning. Welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna be showing you one of the coolest neighborhoods in Mexico City, which is called La Colonia Roma. This neighborhood is currently one of the trendiest and most popular neighborhoods in Mexico City. This is one of the nicest neighborhoods because there is so much going on. The best restaurants in the city are located here. There is so much art. The architecture is beautiful, it's very colonial. The atmosphere, the vibe, the people, and everyone that comes here, every tourist that visit La Colonia Roma, they fall in love because this neighborhood is so, so amazing. So if you've never been to Mexico City and you want to know more about Colonia Roma, this video will help you so much. I am from Mexico City, I grew up here, so I'm very familiar with this neighborhood. So I'm gonna show you all my favorite places where I like to go the best restaurants, the best bars, and places that you don't want to miss if you're planning a trip here. So are you ready? Let's get started. One of the reasons why I love Colonia Roma is because the architecture here is very nice. Uh, you will see a lot of very nice colonial architecture. Actually, I think in all the neighborhoods in Mexico City, this is the one that has the nicest architecture. Besides the historic center, as you can see, all the buildings look really old and really beautiful. So if you're looking for a place to stay here in Mexico City, I highly recommend Colonia Roma. This is one of the best neighborhoods to stay. There are many Airbnbs and hotels in this area. Why would you want to stay here? Well, I know some tourists like to stay in the historic center or other areas that are like in Reforma. And that's also nice. However, just keep in mind that if you stay in the historic center, and you walk at night, it's not gonna be as safe. I mean, I am from here, I'm Mexican, and even I would not walk in the historic center at night. It's not that something will happen to you, but you need to be more careful, and it's just an area where I, if I was a tourist, I would not stay there. I would stay here. I would stay in Colonia Roma or Colonia Condesa, because this neighborhood have so much going on, everything is walking distance, you won't have to take that many Ubers or taxis, and yeah. So if you are a tourist, you've never been to Mexico City, stay here, stay in Colonia Roma, stay in Condesa, and there are many Airbnbs here. The prices aren't as expensive as Reforma Avenue or Polanco, so I think it's a better option. I am in Álvaro Obregón Avenue. This is the main avenue in Colonia Roma. I love it here because there's a lot of restaurants, bars, and nightlife. A lot of foreigners stay in this area. So if you want to meet new people from all over the world, this is the place to come. Mm -hmm. There are many options in Colonia Roma to have a very nice meal, but there are three restaurants that I highly recommend and that I hope that you can try at least one of them. The first one is Blanco Colima. I actually made a video about the top 15 restaurants in Mexico City and this one was ranked number one. This is definitely a restaurant that you don't want to miss if you come to Mexico City. I also recommend you Rosetta, which is very, very good as well. And I recommend Galanga. Galanga has the best Thai food in Mexico. Believe me, you will not be disappointed. This place has epic food.
So we are in one of my favorite streets in Colonia Roma. This street is called Colima. Colima has very, very impressive buildings. The architecture in this street is amazing. So if you are in Colonia Roma, don't forget to check out this street. You will see also very nice restaurants, but the architecture in this street is amazing. So now we are going to go to a very famous bakery that I've actually never been to. Uh, it's called Rosetta. I don't know why everyone recommends that bakery, but we are gonna go and see how it is. So I am heading towards a park called Parque Rio de Janeiro. It's one of my favorite parks here in Colonia Roma. And what I love about Roma also is that there are many bike lanes where you can ride your bike and it's really nice. But look at all these houses. We are almost there. I can see it. So I am in the heart of Colonia Roma. This is Plaza Rio de Janeiro. This is one of the main squares of the neighborhood. You can come here to just chill and sit down. If you want to have like a nice meal, there's a lot of nice restaurants around here. So if you want to stay in Colonia Roma, you should stay near this park because this is like the center of the neighborhood. If you're into rooftops, then the best rooftop in Colonia Roma is called Supra. It is the best place in Colonia Roma to watch the sunset. The drinks are great and the view is amazing. And if you want to have a crazy night, then I recommend Guild, which is one of the best gay nightclubs in Mexico City. You don't need to be gay to go there. There are plenty of girls and straight people there and believe me, you will have an amazing time. So behind me is a very, very popular monument here in Colonia Roma, which is La Fuente de Cibeles. I love this area. This is like a roundabout and around this area, there is so much going on. There are many bars and cool restaurants. So if you come here on Friday and Saturday, this place is crazy there are so many things going on and it's so much fun another place that you don't want to miss is mercado medellin which is a very nice typical mexican market where you can find exotic fruit from mexico go there check it out buy some exotic fruits and try some local food Did you like this video? If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos. If you'd like to support my work, the easiest way is with a super thanks or PayPal. So what do you think about Colonia Roma? Would you like to come here and visit? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Adios.